All right, guys, how you doing? This is Anne Capitalist, and you are tuned in to another episode of Minecraft on the Margin. So real quickly, I've had a few people ask me, what does that mean? What is Minecraft on the Margin supposed to be a reference to? Well, Minecraft on the Margin is a quick economics lesson, as all our all of our videos so what does that mean well on the margin is an economic term reference to doing things one additional increment at a time which is pretty much how you play all of minecraft so i have started a new world here and i have nothing you can see i am in this vast expanse and ooh, a whole bunch of sand a village not too far from here over on the ocean that's fantastic I will probably end up just swimming over there. But what does that mean to do things one incremental piece at a time? Well, let me show you what it means. So this block, I'm going to mine one block at a time. I'm not mining all the sand, right? I don't say, hey, I should mine all the sand. I should mine this sand right here. Nope, I'm going to do things one incremental block at a time. But that also means that sometimes it has a incremental cost. So what am I going to do with one more minute of my time? And seeing as how I, <laughs> I spawned on an island in the middle of nowhere, which is perfect for this video. Oh, goodness. I'm just going to jump in and I'm going to go for a swim. Right, so there's squid, whatever. I'm going for a swim. So as I use different resources that are available to me. Are there like a bazillion squid? Is that an undersea? Goodness. Okay, so to get me started, I decided not to go over to the little village. I'm gonna go over to this little island over here. And now that I'm here on this little island, I'm going to mine some resources. So I'm gonna head over and I've got a tree right here, and I'm going to dive right in. Alright, so I got one piece of oak wood. And I've got one another piece of oak wood. So I'm collecting resources one at a time. Collecting resources one additional unit at a time in exchange for an incremental uh, unit of time and energy and whatnot. All right, so now I've got some resources. Now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with these resources. Okay, so I can use this little bit of wood to get some oak planks. All right, and for every bit of oak plank, every bit of wood that I use to collect oak planks, I have to give up that raw material. So now I'm going to take some of these oak planks and I'm going to turn them into sticks, right? But for every stick that I get, every four sticks that I get, I have to give up two oak planks. So the, it's the, doing things incrementally, both in terms of what I'm getting and what I'm giving up. That's what I mean by doing things on the margin. So let me just get some sticks here and I'll we'll show you what what I mean in a little bit greater detail. Okay, 32 sticks, and I still have some oak planks, and I'm gonna use some of these oak planks to craft a crafting table. And I'm gonna take this crafting table and I'm just gonna stick it right there. And now I have to use some of these resources again, and I'm gonna place a couple sticks down here and I'm going to place, I'm going to get an axe first. Oh, all right, there we go. I'm going to get a wood axe first. And now I want to get more resources, want, want to develop more tools, but I only have one more wood plank. So I could get a shovel. What good does that do me? Uh, I can't get... Mm, 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 mm. All right, I, I can't get anything else, though. 
So what I've got to do is I've got to start collecting additional resources. But the good thing is now I have a tool that I can go start collecting those resources with a little bit more. So now I'm giving up a little bit less each time I'm getting an additional resource. So I'm getting more wood faster and it's taking me less time and it's taking me less energy because I've developed some kind of tool, some kind of resource to help me collect those other resources. All right, so let's get in here. Let's get some more wood. Uh -oh. There's some kind of mob out there, but I'm not sure what it is. Well, I mean, it's daytime, so we're relatively safe out here. But now I can come over here and I can take some of these other resources and say, okay, I got more oak planks. That's fantastic. Got some birch wood. So I've got some birch planks going on here. Now I've already got 36, so I'm not going to get any additional sticks out of this. What I am going to do is I'm going to take two of these sticks and I'm going to turn this into a wood pickaxe. And because I am on a pretty remote island with some sand and some dirt. I'm going to use this resource and I'm going to develop a shovel for myself at this time. Boom. There we go. All right. And why am I going to do that? Well, because you see on this island, there's pretty much nothing else around me. Ooh, ouchie. This way I'm able to go in and I'm able to start collecting some resources right away. And I'm collecting these resources, thinking marginally, what am I going to get for one additional block? Okay. What am I going to give up for one additional block? Right. And now this is where my shovel comes in handy. It's like, ooh, and I've got some some stone here. So I am actually going to dig in here and I'm going to mine some of the stone out of here. And why? Well, because one additional pickaxe, one additional stone pickaxe is going to do me a little bit more good than one additional wood tool. So see, it's that idea of thinking step by step on the margin. And that's what we say. We say, well, are you making this decision on the margin? I'm not thinking, looking at, oh, I want only stone tools or only uh, iron tools or only wood tools. It's the idea as I play step by step by step, am I going to be made better off if I add one additional tool? If that tool is more stone, one additional wood tool, okay, one additional iron tool. I'm making these decisions step by step on the margin. Ooh, apple right there. Let's pick that bad boy up. All right. So now that I've got some of this cobblestone, I'm going to go make some stone tools. You say, but why are you going to make a stone pickaxe? You've already got a wood pickaxe. Well, because I've got the resources available and what else am I going to be using them on? Nothing. So here I go. I'm going to be building some stone tools. All right. So now I've got a stone axe. Stick that wood axe right there. Now I'm going to hang on to the wood axe. Why? Well, because I can still use it for something. If I run out of resources, now what you'll see is that because I have a finite amount of spaces in my inventory, once I need this space and once that space, that one additional space becomes more valuable than the wooden shovel that I have there or the wooden axe that I have there, then I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to ditch it. And I have the feeling that's about to happen. Well, not yet because it's nighttime and I don't want to, I don't want to try and swim over into that other village over there right now in the middle of the night. And if I wanted to, I could probably dig on this island a little more and do some mining. 
you know what? Let's go ahead and swim across while it's night. So, ready? Let's go. All right, well, let's go ahead. We got this zombie up ahead of us here, so as I'm headed to the island, I'm going to also have to fight a swimming <laughs> zombie. Let's try and do whatever kind of damage we can to this guy. Now you'll see that I'm putting some things at risk here. Is there a benefit to this? Well, sure. One, I don't have to face the zombie anymore when I get on land. But is there also a potential cost? Absolutely. Because it uses hits on my, on my tools. In fact, I'm going to switch to this. And I'm going to attack him with the guns. All right, there we go. Now, I lost whatever resources that I could have got, I w that I could have collected from getting rid of that zombie. But, at least... Now he's not here. Ooh, but there is a little dock. So I'm actually going to come over here. I'm going to come onto this little jetty here, this little dock. Let's switch that out. And that was no fun. Okay, so we're going to swim back to this little village island over here where we just died and lost some of our resources. Uh, yeah, as you'll see, I, I enjoy Minecraft, but I am no expert by any means. Uh, my specialty is in the economic side of things, not necessarily the uh, Minecraft playing ability, which is why I was so handily defeated by that zombie. I see a pig and I see a spider. And the spider's not going to chase me into the water, is it? And the spider is going to chase me into the water. The spider's going to attack me in the water. Alright, so I'm making my way back to this island, and there happens to be a spider in the way. So I'm going to see if I can't defeat this spider while I'm swimming. And see... See what we can do. I mean, we're not going to get anything out of it when we're swimming. Because all the resources are going to fall. But at least I don't have a spider chasing me while I'm swimming. And since I've already engaged in combat with the spider, now that the sun's coming up, he is not going to go anywhere. And I don't have anything to fight him with, so good to the bugger. And he does not want to go away. All right. Okay, so now I've died and I'm going to head back to this island really quickly here. Where I recently perished and lost all of my resources. Now, unfortunately, having perished and lost all of my resources there, I've also recently been attacked by spiders and died again. Alright, so now that I've died a couple times and making my way back to this island over here where I have lost whatever resources I had previously collected. I'm going to climb back up there and see if I can't recover those resources. 
Why? Because it's easier to recover resources that already exist. It's going to be to acquire new resources. I'm going to give up less. All right, let's see. What do I have? I hear a pig. Anything else up here? No, nothing else up here right now. Hmm. Well, I had some tools. I should have had some tools anyway. Let's see. Anything in this house is here? Nothing in there. Nothing in there. All right, well, looks like I'm starting from scratch, so it's a good thing I found this little village here. Head up to the top, and let's take a, a look out there. All right, so we've got some animals over on that side. Pretty cool little farm down here. Let's go give it a look-see. All right, so let's climb down there and see what kind of resources we have available. <laughs> And I hear something. Let's get a little bit out of the way and see what's coming after us. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start mining some of these. Harvesting some resources. Yeah, true, this is someone else's farm, but I don't see any villagers around, so I And yes, it's true. Oh, oh did I see someone in there? Dude, he's in that house. Ah, and there is a mine down there. That's where I'm going to resources. But before I accumulate some wood and since there are no trees on this island I'm gonna have to figure out where I can get some wood from let's see if there's any places I can get some wood from this dock here but see the problem with that is for every oh hello pig So I'm going to get some of this wood here, but if I find it, I'm just going to fall down into the water, and that appears to be the case. Alright, so I at least have two blocks of wood now. That's alright. Let's see what else I can get over here. No, it's just going to be gravel, and I don't need any gravel. I guess I'll just go ahead and grab a few more pieces of this one. Alright, so getting back to our, our ideas on, on marginalism, you see how every single piece of wood planks that I mine here causes me to have to give up a section of my dog. That I give up, uh, the more difficult it's going to be for me to use that area later on. And there's probably going to be a crafting table in here. Perfect. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this crafting table and I'm going to make myself four sticks. And I'm just going to use these four sticks real quickly to make myself. A pickaxe. Why a pickaxe, you say? Well, because then I can use this pickaxe and go get some uh, minerals, some ores. Go get some other, some coal. Uh, maybe get some stone. Maybe even get some iron ore. All right, so let's head on out of here. And I'm actually going to head straight down into this mine. Uh, yeah, that's right. That guy's totally safe. I'm good. 
the first thing I noticed. <laughs> Because then I can. The more I mine down here, the more wear and tear it's going to put on the wood pickaxe. So see, there's a marginal benefit here. Get, every time I I mine some of this uh, stone, I get one additional unit of stone, but it also gets puts one incremental unit of wear and tear on my pickaxe. So what am I giving up in order to get that little bit of stone? And so now, if I've got this this pickaxe, do I even have uh, do I even have enough wood sticks left? Uh, I've got two sticks. Okay, so that's at least enough to make myself a, uh, a stone axe. So let's come back over here to where this crafting table was. I'm going to make myself a stone axe. Why a stone axe, you say? Well, especially when I already have the wood axe. Well, for the same reason that I got the wood axe in the first place, because it's going to be the most useful tool for me in getting whatever resources I want next. So it's going to have the highest marginal benefit with the lowest marginal cost. Now let's go explore in here a little bit more. What I don't have any of. Ooh. Was not expecting that water to pop up. Well, that's not going to work. Especially since I don't have anything to see those down in that cave, down in, in that mine. So let's see if there's anything up here I can use. Eh, some wood. That's about it. Anywhere else I can go? Eh, I could go up into that big house. Alright, so let's go check out the house up at the top of the hill. Let's see if there's any more resources that I can get out of this house. <laughs> no, another crafting table. I suppose there's some books up there. Uh, but nothing else that I'm going to get out of there right now. I suppose I could take care of that pig. And then what am I going to get out of the pig? Well, I could get pork chops, which I don't really need right now, but I will eventually. All right, well, let's come up here and see what other resources, because what I really need right now is I really need some coal, but I don't have the ability to jump down into that dark mine and get some coal. So let's check out this room right here. I've got some light in here even though it is going to get dark soon. And I'm probably going to check out from you guys and figure out what I'm trying to do here. In the meantime, you keep thinking about the idea of what Minecraft on the margin means. <laughs> what does it mean? Well, you're doing things incrementally, one additional unit at a time. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.